hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Saskia and I am now in my third year of my degree. I'm doing psychology. I'm in my final year. Yeah. Um, stress, some would say. So it's now Monday. It's our first like week of term. I was going to vlog freshers because I did actually do things, which is very shocking because I don't do freshers based events. I did, I went to a traffic light party, I went to Swift again which isn't really freshers and I went to a house party which isn't really freshers but like still and then I went to psychology netball taster, stem netball taster and I was gonna go to aerial hoop taster but I literally got to the place and then they cancelled it and then on tomorrow on Tuesday I'm going to a ballet taster because I thought that sounds kind of fun and I feel like I'm in my third year, I haven't joined any societies really. I've joined Psychology Netball um, and not had a very good time. So I'm trying to expand, but I don't really know what else I could expand to. Like I tried gymnastics last year, but it ended up just being like, you join the gymnastics like society just, and you just go to, an, to a gym that they've rented out for a bit. But like, it's not, classes or anything it was like ballet is classes which is what I thought it would be but <sighs> so yes yeah, so it's now Monday we have no lectures this year um I insert a few clips I think I filmed last week when I was gonna film a freshers vlog and then didn't or like a prepping for uni vlog then I didn't because I had nothing to prep for because basically I emailed my dissertation supervisor nine days ago mm, two weeks ago for 15 16 days ago no response one of our modules isn't even open yet and so one of our modules, they told us explicitly that they're not going to give us the lecture slides until after the lecture. What am I going to do during the lecture then? Why would I bother attending the lecture if you're not going to give me the lecture slides? Because the point is that I have the slides and you expand on what the slides say and I get more information. Not I have the slides after the lecture, but what do I add to the slides? Nothing, because I've been too busy scrolling down every word you've said during the... <sighs> Basically, my uni kind of sucks. Um, we've started third year in a panic um, but yeah today's Monday I've been to the gym I need to go to Aldi and buy like cough sweets and stuff because I am ill and then I have tutoring at 5 and then I have tutoring at 6.15 then I'm done for the day but basically what I've done is what I always do every year I don't think I actually really did it in second year because I kind of gave up but I've made, um, I go on Canva to make all my graphics and I've made like a list of the modules I'm doing and the content per week and then how it's assessed. So like I'm doing in semester one, intro to education, childhood maltreatment and mental health, social and psychological approaches to understanding sexual health and then my dissertation. So I've written all of the weeks for that. Then what I've got is a weekly planner, which is looking really empty. We literally have three lectures a week. Um, and that's it. So that's looking really good so far. Loving that.
Tuesday, Bestie Jade's drying her hair. And I'm not doing my finest. Um, my hair is greasy, my scalp's peeling off at the bottom. It's raining. I just had an hour of tutoring in which I had to leave and be like, Bestie, can I go get a cough sweet? Because I'm gonna vomit. Um, so yeah, so Jess is coming over in half an hour. Then I have ballet at five. Well, the ballet taster, and I'm not gonna lie, I did a dumb thing. I did legs yesterday, which was a mistake. And I was trying, like I had, I was trying to count, and I can't count how many sets I'd done, so I did one too many. So I'm gonna go to ballet, and then I'm gonna come back from ballet and I'm gonna go to the gym. And I was gonna do some running and then shower, but I don't want to, so I'm not gonna go just from ballet to the gym to wash my hair because. It's expensive to do it in my house. Come a little closer, baby, I won't cry. I do this for fun. But I wasn't really thinking you would come in though. Basically, I'm walking back from ballet and I've just felt a bit boring. I feel like if I loved ballet, I would do it, but I don't love ballet. I'm just kind of looking for something else that I can do because netball always has training at the same time, which means that me being a part of three netball societies it's kind of redundant by the fact that they all train on a Wednesday either at the same time or one of them will train like three to four and then the next one will train like four to five but the four to five training is somewhere that takes like half an hour to get to from three to four training so I literally it cannot make it so yes yeah, so I'm now walking back I'm gonna walk to the gym in Portswood and wash my hair because the cost of living is going up I'm already paying a gym membership and by that I mean I already paid my student membership in like July so I've made one payment my shower was at home literally only cost me like 15p but if I'm already paying for the gym and I'm walking past the gym I might as well shower at the gym because also the shower pressure in our shower is um it's quite disgusting it's quite bad I've been to the gym I literally just went in shower so yeah I've been for like 10 minutes showered and now we go home so it's now Wednesday, driving, but I'm not doing my worst. So could be worse. I had, I've just done a psychology study. I'm not at the right height for anything. Um, I've just done a psychology study. <sighs> that was great. You know, it happened. I have netball at two till three, but it's also kind of supposed to rain, so. Then I have aerial hoop from six till seven, and I might go to the gym after, but probably not. If netball's cancelled, I'll go to the gym before aerial hoop. If netball's still on, I probably won't go to the gym. I'm also in my hoodie. <laughs> I like my hoodie, but I'm not gonna lie. Primark do snuddies for 20 pounds, which are better. Um, like, as someone who was gifted the hoodie, the annoying thing is it's only one size. Like, I want it a bit tighter for warm. And in Primark you can get, like, extra small slash small, small slash medium, medium slash large, which means that you can get one that actually fits. Um, and I'm also not the biggest fan of the hood. The hood's really skinny, but she is really warm. Almost too warm. Oh, but my dissertation supervisor finally messaged me. And they messaged me, I mean he messaged the four students he's got. So I'm in a group of four other students, they're all girls. Not that it really matters who I'm in a group with because hopefully I don't actually have to interact with them because I'm not doing group work for my dissertation. But we finally have a meeting set up. It's on Friday, right? It was originally for 12.30. And then before anyone had even responded to his email, he was like, oh God, just realize you've got a lecture at 12.30. I don't, so I'm assuming I think it might be social and effective neuroscience. Um, so he was then like, how's 4.30? And everyone was like, yeah, fine. And I was like, well, I can't be the only one that says, no, you're not fine. So I was like, yeah, fine. But I've got a lecture from two till four. I'm like, I'm not gonna be home by 4.30. Is that Jade? Jade? Yeah. yeah! So it turns out my dissertation in which I selected to do a dissertation in developmental psychology it's not in developmental psychology. Um, 
So I basically, when we did our dissertation, we picked them stupidly because my university sucks and that we picked the discipline we wanted. So I put developmental, social, clinical. What is my dissertation on? Clinical. Also kind of health psychology, because apparently we're doing a large scale project on placebo effects in mental health. Placebo effects, health psychology, mental health, clinical psychology. Did I say I wanted to do either of those projects? No. And it says you'll be able to focus on the disorder of interest. I don't have a disorder of interest because I don't want to do clinical. I wanted to do something developmental, which is why I put developmental as my top choice. And I think basically, because in developmental you could tick like autism, ADHD, parenting, that kind of thing. I think because I ticked ADHD or because ADHD was in the developmental section, they're counting ADHD as a disorder in this study, which means that technically they'll say that my thing is developmental when it's not. So basically, my developmental dissertation is actually on clinical health psychology. So that's really fun. I do not care about placebo effects and I don't want to do this. But we literally don't know how we can change. As in someone messaged in the group chat earlier, like, is there a list of any of the supervisors and like, if we could change? There's no list. I can't do anything about this. Um, this is such a shit dissertation. I'd have to do this for a year. And I have to do a lit review on placebo effects and mental health. And I'm not gonna lie, the last thing I did on placebo effects I barely passed the assessment because my lecturer did not like what I'd said, even though everything I'd said was correct. Um, so basically, I now get to do a project on clinical and health psychology, despite not liking clinical or health psychology and not selecting them to do my dissertation on. Um, what can I say? I love, I love the University of Southampton. So I got na na, uh, but I got smoke in my eyes. I'm blind, blind. No time for the nonsense, na na, uh, Try to smoke it away, don't take much. I did really enjoy it, much more for me than ballet. I think it's just because like with ballet you have to do so much basics before you can actually do nice things I guess. But with hoop I was literally like, I was upside down on the hoop within the taster session. Um, 
So I'm hoping and praying that when the sessions open, I'm fast enough to get in to book the sessions because I know last year, last year I didn't go to the tasters, but I still wanted to do either hoop or pole, but I know that it was like the sessions filled up so quickly. My camera is supposed to have autofocus on and I really don't think it does. Um, so yeah, so like last year I wanted to book onto the hoop taster sessions, not the taste, like the real ones, and they were literally all booked up and taken within about three seconds of them being like opened up. So yeah, I was supposed to have netball training tonight from four to six again, but they canceled it, which fair enough because I did actually make it to the one yesterday and my body does hurt. Um, I think it's doing, I did, cause I did netball and I literally went straight to hoop. Um, which meant I missed the cool down from netball to go straight and do hoop. So like I can feel, I did also literally within the first like three seconds of hoop, you have to like mount it with one leg right. I thought I'm right leg dominant, surely my, my right leg should be the one to mount it. As soon as I put my right leg over it, I pulled my calf muscle like immediately. And my right calf is really struggling and apparently I'm now left dominant on a hoop. Um, I also, I, the people there were so nice, like even just the people running the class and the people who were also just there, like they filmed me for some of the clips, for some of the moves. And I'm not gonna lie, my phone just didn't save the videos. It only saved one of the videos, which was the least interesting one because I did um, a thing where like you're kind of under the hoop, your hands are hanging on it and you're in a pipe position do a little demo. Hoop. Nothing is in the hoop. My arms are here hanging off the hoop and then my legs are hovering underneath in a pike. So you're upside down holding your body up with just your arms. That was really fun. Um, and I don't want to flex but I think I was quite good at it because I'm quite flexible naturally and like my toes point quite well as in I tend to have quite, I've got like quite long arms and quite like pointed toes, which means that kind of, even if I fall over, it could kind of look a bit elegant. Um, but I did have really, really good fun and hoping and praying to the gods that I can get onto the sessions because it was pretty, pretty nice. Um, but I did, I also emailed my like head of third year, I think it is, like the person who's running the dissertation at every project. And I was like, hey babe, I asked for a developmental topic, um, and yes, you gave me someone who's technically a developmental person, but their topic is literally not developmental. It's placebo effects, which is health, and then in mental health disorders, which is clinical. Those were my third and fourth options out of five, and I was given them. Like, I was technically given my first option because the person is a developmental person, but I'm not doing a developmental topic, which means I actually wasn't given my first subject, my first choice. Um, so I still have a meeting with him tomorrow at 4.30, which I'll go to, but I don't want to do my dissertation with him because I don't want to do placebo, of, placebo effects. Like, I'd be fine doing something about like, like if it was clinical clinical, that would be more okay, or if it was like, the part of health that I kind of enjoy, which is like sexual health and sexuality. I don't care about placebos. Because he was like, oh, you can do the, do the placebo effect on a disorder of your choice. I don't have a disorder of choice because clinical wasn't my top choice. Like, I think he only kind of counts as developmental because one of the disorders of choice could be ADHD. And I'm like, well, that's one component of a clinical topic doesn't make your project developmental. So, yeah, um, I might go to the gym later, not to actually gym, but for the sole purpose of the foam roller because my calf is still struggling and like my right arm really hurts because basically I don't throw the ball with my left arm in netball. So yesterday for the whole two hours, my left arm doesn't get used. My left arm is by my side. I throw with my right arm. I shoot with my right arm. I defend with my right arm. Nothing is done on the left. So my right shoulder also needs like rolling. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything kind of academic that I have to do. I've made a deadline list of like all my deadlines in semester one. Um, we don't have anything until November, but I'm still gonna get started on that. 
because it's for the education psych module and only module where I currently am in love with the lecturer and by I mean only module I think in the whole three years of my degree that I've not hated the lecturer Tell me you've been thinking and that you need me now. You made a mistake. You missed the chance of a lifetime. Won't try to hear you out. You used to listen for my footsteps on your floor. Now you don't even come to me when I'm much other. I used to think you were all that I could want and more. You got me feeling, feeling nothing anymore. No, baby, I. So it's now Friday. I am supposed to have a lecture in 10 minutes, but I can't go because I have emotional problems. Um, essentially, my, I think I already mentioned it actually, but my dissertation supervisor decided for us to have a meeting at 4.30 when our lecture finishes at four, and I would not physically be back home for 4.30, or I'd be back home at like 4.29 and then emotionally I couldn't do it. I'm like, oh my God, hi. So yeah, so I have a meeting with him at 4.30. Um, hopefully his project isn't as shit as he's made it out to be because the title is just, or um, well, like the topic that he sent us is like investigating placebo effects in a mental health disorder, which has nothing to do with development, but also sounds very clinical medicinal in the sense that placebo effects is drugs. I do not want to learn about, like I, Feels very like A level IB, and then we had a whole question on like placebos in the IB. So like, is this just the equivalent, but at university level? Like my flatmate had her meeting today. She's doing one in social, and hers actually all sounded interesting, and mine sounds shit. Um, it's just I don't like my university if it hasn't already been noticed because of the way it's set up. As in like, this isn't the first like big just conundrum that they make. Like, my supervisor, like I got sent my, we filled in a questionnaire to get set our dissertations basically, and I am supposedly doing a, a developmental, developmental dissertation. My supervisor is developmental and clinical though. As in like, if you go on the website and find their name, they are in the Centre of Innovation for Mental Health, which is the clinical centre. All of their research recently has been clinical. Like, I think they only count as developmental because ADHD is considered developmental, but like most of their studies have been on the clinical aspect of ADHD. Whereas development, I was thinking more parenting styles, attachment styles, children in education, language learning. I would have done bloody perception of children at this point. Like, 
something about the actual development of something. Um, so yeah, because he was like, oh, you can do your chosen disorder, but not I, babe. I don't have a chosen disorder because I didn't want to do clinical. Although we have been told that we can do like um, an in-between model where like we work semi on what they've got to do, or we can just do a freedom model where we literally just pick our own dissertation, which is honestly looking what it might be like, because I mean, I know that would be harder, but I really don't care about placebo effects. I don't want to spend the next year writing about placebo effects when I could spend it doing something that's not as shit. Um, controversial, is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, so I'm now just re-watching old netball matches for emotional support um, and suffering. So yeah, so my dissertation meeting is in 20 minutes. I don't know how long it will last. I hope it either doesn't last long or it lasts a long time because he's making the project less boring. Um, but we don't even know how our dissertation works. Um, like, I don't know anything. I don't know. We've got a talk on the review, but they decided to put it in the second week of term. And not gonna lie, logically, it should be in the first week of term because our draft is due in like, or our first thousand words is due in like two months, but we don't even know what a lit review is. Like, we've not been taught what a lit review is. I don't know anything. Um, so that's really fun. I was gonna go to the gym this evening, but I am still in pain and. I don't want to, um, and I can't be bothered to walk there for the shower, so I'm just gonna shower here, but yeah, I'm not very excited. I did make a to-do list earlier though, mm, last night, so I've got all of my deadlines as well, because we've got one, two, three, four deadlines in November, two in December, two in January, and then one assessment in January, I think, like everything, because I basically picked kind of coursework modules, most of it gets done at the beginning. But also I don't know how to write the coursework, so yeah. Hopefully my dissertation meeting is useful. Hopefully he can make it a bit more clinic, a bit more, not clinical, a bit more developmental because I don't want to write about placebo effects. Like I feel like it would be easy because I could just do something boring like placebo effects in depression. But the dissertation is supposed to be something that you actually have interest in. Um, and I have no interest. And like everyone says like, oh, you get bored of your dissertation anyway. But if I'm doing it on something I never wanted to do to begin with, I'm already bored. Which means I will never have had any interest in my dissertation. Um, love my uni. Um, so yeah, so I'll do my dissertation meeting. I don't know how long it will last. And then I'll probably just give an update and then we'll end the week. Um, I'm just not in the mood. I have actually been quite productive this week though without doing lectures. As in, I didn't go to the introduction to, I didn't go to the first lecture for educational psych because at the same time I've got tutoring but it's online and it's recorded so I just watch it like the next day, but again, that wasn't too useful. I started the coursework for educational psych and I'm like, half the way done? Five twelfths of the way done on it. Not sure if I'm doing it right, but I'm there. I've started, I've made a skeleton for a presentation that we've got due in like a month-ish. And then I've also read three articles to create a policy for stakeholders. Um, so basically I'm ahead on everything apart from my lit review because I don't know about the lit review.